What if I told you that what I am standing in right now is just a fifth wheel RV? Would you believe me? Let me show you. Even if you have seen every fifth wheel RV in existence, you haven't seen this one because this is a custom one of a kind fifth wheel made by the Flipping Nomad team that you have got to see. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I am here at the Tampa RV Show in Florida. This is the Florida RV Super, uh, Florida RV Super Show. Been trying to talk too fast, been talking too much today. And we are here looking at this reimagined Fusion 425 toy hauler that Courtney and her team with the Flipping Nomad, which mostly consists of just Courtney and her mom, completely redesigned and made exact to be exactly what they wanted it to be. Now, Courtney is going to travel and live in this RV full time. You may have seen the video that I did with her on her ultimate Montana that she lived in for five years. She now has moved on from that unit and is going to be in this ultimate fusion now that will be her home on wheels. So this is what she did to build a unit that she made exactly what she wanted it to be. She also does RV renovations, which is really cool. So she has taken RVs and renovated them for other people as well because she is just such a talented individual and can do so much. So this is the outside here. A couple of things to talk about real quick on the outside. It has a Kurt Rotoflex pin box and then it has a mini split AC system down underneath here. So they actually got rid of the generator because this entire roof is lined with solar from front to back. Because they did a mini split system, this prevents ACs from being up on the roof. So they're actually able to run solar from the front to the back of the roof, two panels. Um, so one panel here, one panel on the other side. So two panels all the way down the whole thing. And I don't know exactly how much solar is up there, but it's a lot enough to run this whole RV for sure. And you'll see all the solar equipment when we get to the back and what they did with that. So it's really impressive. It has a black wrap on the outside. So this whole thing is wrapped which is how they get the color on the exterior. Does have a patio off the back, but this is also a side patio toy hauler. So patio off the back here, and then you have your side patio right there. So again, this is the Fusion 425 floor plan for 2024, but then this is just what Courtney took and did with the space. Outside, she installed these speakers here. So you have four kicker speakers and a subwoofer with the amplifier there. So you can have a great party experience here. Plus you have two kicker speakers up there above the patio. And when we go inside, really curious what you think. Let me know what you like about what she did. You can even leave some things that you may have not liked, but just really, really curious to hear your thoughts on what you think of the space because it is just so different and so unique. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Right as we walk in, we're gonna go to the right because the right is actually my favorite part. You have your bedroom and bathroom and just look at this thing. This is what I would want my RV to look like if I was in an RV, especially living in one full time. Now they have two dogs that travel with them. So down underneath here is a spot for the dogs that they built in. Such a cool idea. Look at the headboard up in here and it goes all the way up into that ceiling panel as well. That is like a rock texture that they added on there. I love that nice lighting in here as well. Have individual reading lights on each side, has MCD roller shades and curtains on the windows. All this wardrobe storage, washer and dryer here. And then one of the coolest things, these are little laundry baskets that also open up like so. So there's two built-in spots to put clothes in and whatnot. And then more wardrobe storage, plus both sound bar here and then a pull down blackout shade there as well on that window. Then as we come back this way, you have a sliding pocket door for the bathroom. Now I'm not gonna walk through this like I normally would because this is just a one of a kind RV. So, so much of this stuff is just so unique and specific to this one RV. Um, 
really cool mirror that she set up in here that has the light bar around it and then check out this bathtub and shower combination this is a really deep tub there and then this whole shower area this almost looks like a tile but it's actually just a wallpaper that was then covered in epoxy to make it waterproof so really cool there again this is a tub so you can actually soak in there and take a bath and then you have nice lighting up above there that they worked in with a shower curtain that goes around right there so really really neat even like with this medicine cabinet slides across like so so you can get into that space there had to do some things to get creative so that they can make this whole design work which is really what courtney is best at and the flipping nomad team is best at have your toilet there and then touchscreen control panel here coming down into the living room there's a three cushion sofa here and then this is just a nice big open floor space now they could have gone with furniture here in this area but what courtney wanted and how she explained it to me is she has her creative artistic side that she really likes to express so this is a piece that she has here right now but this can be taken out and she can create something different to put in this space gives her a spot to put a christmas tree up in the winter time if she wants and that's just going to be a flex space where she can use to display different things that she may want to build to put in this area has a bose sound bar Big windows here these are custom windows that were put into these spaces you can see how this one is like a floor to ceiling window and then there is a pull down projector screen or a powered projector screen right there because there's a projector over here as well so instead of having a tv she went with a projector set up there which is so cool more dog beds down underneath here so got to take care of the furry friends and then this decor wall there as well huge windows here all custom windows in this slide out box and then custom light fixture up over here i love this light fixture that is just so neat looking really really like the look of that this here flips down so this is a spot to eat and then it will flip down as well so the slide outs can come in kitchen is really nice too and i should have had this in the down position when i walked in look at this y'all how cool is that is this actual oh this is like actual tile too and that is going to go up and reveal a coffee bar area plus a good spot for air fryer, things like that. Tons of countertop space in here. Absolutely huge. Three burner stove and then has the faucet over the stove as well. Nice big sink there, golden faucet, all real tile backsplash. Has a dishwasher, all of the storage down through here and then a ice maker as well. I'm not going to go too crazy with opening a bunch of different things up because Courtney does already live in this RV. So I don't want to go through all her things, but you get the picture and can kind of see what's going on here. Turning to the left, you have your patio. Did curtains here for that patio door. Love that. Another pet friendly feature. You got the dog door built in so the dogs can go right out into the patio. And then you have this space here. Got your custom window there, fireplace here and spots where dogs can get outside. Again, have your kicker sound bars or not sound bar speakers here and then LED light bars underneath the awning that have that glowing effect because it has a diffuser over the LED light there that looks really, really nice. And as we keep coming back, this is where the garage portion would have been. But as you can see, they renovated this to be an office space so that they have a spot to work on the road. Again, custom windows. And then behind here is where all of her storage will be for all of her renovating equipment. So all of her saws and different big pieces of equipment go back in this area behind that wall there, gives them a designated spot to store. And then here, look at this. This is six 270 amp hour lithium batteries here from Dragonfly. So these are the Battleborn batteries there really really amazing uh just supply of power that you're having in here i mean this is like almost unheard of this is one of the tough things if you want to run an entire rv off of solar is solar is going to charge your batteries and then your batteries running through an inverter is what's going to power everything so your battery bank is really what's the most important part because you have to have enough power stored to be able to run everything so finding a spot for all the batteries is definitely a challenge so they built in this little kind of closet space here essentially where all of this stuff will go and then these are all of the solar charge controllers that are required to run this rig off of the solar equipment so pretty dang impressive what they did there and I just love the color they went with with this like kind of sage color contrasting with the black and then the light tan wood for the flooring looks so so nice 
Um, there's a lot of other premium things they did in just the way that they constructed this with like the suspension system and different things like that, but not things that I'm going to get to in this video because it's not quite as important. It's just kind of seeing what the possibilities are with remodeling an RV, what is out there. And again, this is the Flipping Nomad. You should definitely follow them. Instagram is their biggest page that they have. So the Flipping Nomad on Instagram, you should go check them out. Courtney is a great friend of mine. Um, one of the first people I met in the kind of content creator space actually when I got into this industry and she has been really cool to work with. This is a unit that she just built this year that I was really excited to be able to show y'all. So really curious your thoughts, want to know what you think about this thing. Let me know down below in the comments and definitely make sure you're following Courtney to see more of what she does with this unit and her other remodeling projects. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on balance.